Here's the machining operation to machine the hole through the drill guide and then to drill the hole all the way through the part. But after I do this one initial hole through the drill guide, I don't need to do it again. I'll just need to run the gun drill on, on the subsequent parts. I just have to clamp the guide on there and run the drill. So here's mill milling the counterbore with a quarter inch end mill for the start drill so that I have a good location to guide the start drill. I, I want this hole to be on location real nice. So I drill a start hole for the gun drill. It's maybe a little over an inch deep just to give it a good bearing, you know, to get started. Then I got to run the gun drill, but remember on the last video I showed I broke the tip off the gun drill that I started with to try to do this a different way and so I have to set a new tool in here and touch it off which is what I'm doing here set the length offset of this tool I'm gonna run the drill and just drill all the way through to the intersecting hole in the um that comes in from the end of the part the inch and a quarter hole you'll see that in the next part of the video. Also, I'm going to show a CAD model in the next part of the video so you can kind of better understand what's happening here. So now you see the coolant coming out of the end of the part. Here's a section through the models and, uh, and the drill, the, the blue color is the drill guide and the green is the clamps that hold it onto the part. So here's a section through it showing this hole that has to be drilled up into this inch and a quarter hole that comes from the end of the part. And let me, let me see if I can uh, zoom in a little bit here on the top of this where this is. And you can see I've, I've kind of sketched in some hidden lines here or dotted lines and you can see if you put a spot face here that this line here that it would break in this other line here represents the um, the bottom of the or the top of this uh, drilled hole that runs through here so if you put this spot face in to get the full diameter of the hole to start with and you'd probably have to go just a little bit deeper than this you, you're already breaking into this hole and this is what caused the problem because when the drill comes in it's cutting on the top here and it's probably all right till it gets down to about this intersection point but it's still got material to take off here and it kind of pushes it down and so it kind of misdirects the hole before it gets into the real area of the part and um, the first one I did uh, this on, I actually drilled this hole down into here a little bit and then I started the gun drill but there was enough of a misalignment like I, you saw in the last video that it it caused the tip of the gun, deal to, gun drill to break off and also the the hole kind of intersects this hole down here at a pretty uh, you know shallow angle I guess you call it and it, and it um it actually has to drill through this and that might be a little difficult on the drill too although a gun drill seems to work good for this because it, it gets support from the, the drill tip to do this kind of an intersection better than a twist drill would do it see what we uh, got here well, we drilled the hole theoretically I, I don't have to redo this hole in the jig I can just uh, run the gun drill all by itself now when I run the next part and the hole I made in there will guide it. Let's just see what just see what all this looks like here. If I can get it apart. So that's the that's the hole in the the guide. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. That looks like that worked pretty good and there's pretty nice finish in there too as well. Let's look down in here and see what we can see. Here. Let me turn the part with the C-axis see what we can see. Let 
looks pretty good. Let me get the camera a little closer here. Still has this small step here, very small, not enough to worry about. Let me get a light so we can see a little better. Should be able to shine the light up the end of the part here now. We should be able to see uh, light coming through the hole. Get a more direct view down the hole here. A little bit of a step here on this part because the drill got pushed down. Drilling from this outside here, you're breaking into this hole right here in the part and, and, it, and it pushes the tool down if you try to drill this through this hole. So that's the problem I was having. I know it's kind of a little bit hard to understand, but when you put the spot face in here to start this drill, it's over here and it breaks into this hole on the, on the bottom side of it down here. So the drill is only drilling with the top of the drill and, and some people suggested using a flat tip drill or an end mill or something and that might help but it's still going to tend to push the tool away from the cut just naturally does that with tools and then it's going to um well that's what happened and it, and it wandered down here just a little bit that step is probably only i don't know five thousandths of an inch it's not enough to uh, you know scrap the part or anything like that this this is just a passage I believe um, wires are going to run through here. They're going to weld a cap on here with the hole that directs it down the part, I think. That's what it looks like looking down the hole from this side. Let me, um, let me move the steady rest up here and close it where it's, it should be. I moved it back to hold the camera on it. And uh, I'll, I'll open this chuck down here at this end. I'll open the chuck down here and move the tailstock away. I'll turn this off so we don't see it. And, and um, then we can look at it from the other direction. Let's see, let's see how there's actually two holes. This hole here, maybe I could shine the light in there and you could see it. I'll turn this light on. I don't know if you can. Uh, trying to get it directed down the hole. This hole is off center on the part. That's the reason that you can see the hole right here. If I turn the light off, I don't know if you can see that, see it. It also, that hole and this hole intersect the, the bigger hole down at the end of the part, which is an inch and a quarter hole, but it, it's running off center. That's why I can't use the regular tailstock center. A couple people in the comments on the last video mentioned this, uh, chuck thing here. I'll show you a little bit closer view of that here in a second. So I moved this up a little bit so I wouldn't I wouldn't have the rollers on these slots and stuff. Then we can close the steady rest here. Make sure everything's clean here. Don't want to dent the part. Close the jaws of the steady rest. Okay, now rotate the part just a little bit. Okay, I've got a piece of, um, it's actually a hose clamp that I cut off of a long hose clamp there so I protect the part from the jaws. So open this chuck up a little bit, take that off. And I can retract the, uh, tail stop view back further a little bit here now I can move the tail stock body away I'm going to move it back all the way back 
because I'm gonna the next part I got to do machine work in this hole I have to finish the bottom of this hole I'm going to show you in a second here so I'm gonna move this all the way back out of the way all right so you can see why the center if I was trying to use a tailstock center it would be right in here somewhere and there's no material for it because this holes in the place where the center would be kind of see where that hole intersects and this hole is off to the other side this little hole right there and the bigger hole is right there maybe I can put the lens of this camera right yeah maybe you can see that a little better so that's the bigger hole that I drilled with the drill guy and this is the the smaller hole, it's, it's almost right next to it, right there, and that's the other hole, right there. I thought I would show a little bit about this um, chuck thing, because I had a few questions about that on this tailstock in the last uh, video in the comments, and explain a little bit about what it is and what it does here. Uh, um, the center in this quill, the dead, it's a dead center that rides in a, in a spindle that's in the quill of this machine. And so it, it has, it's a very large dead center. I've got another one here. I just want to show it here. And it's got a number six Morse taper. And it's got a, a very precise two and a half inch diameter ground on this end of it. And then it's straight. This one's a little bit longer than this one, maybe about that much longer um, on the straight section. And then it tapers into the 60 degree taper like a normal uh, center has. And, and of course this thing fits into this number six Morse taper and, it, and it's really pretty strong. And so I, I made this aluminum piece here and I bored it and, and I even honed it a little bit even to get it a very nice fit on that two and a half inch diameter and then it has this clamping mechanism it's kind of like a split nut well it's not really a nut it's just a split clamp and this uh, socketed cap screw clamps it together and it's got a radius it intersects the bore with a little bit of a radius so it clamps the the whole thing on there and then uh while this was clamped on the spindle here of the tailstock or the the dead center actually i turned the face here and and the shoulder for this set through chuck this is a it's about a six and a half inch diameter chuck in this case and uh this thing turned out to be really handy for this job so as you can see here if you look at this I really didn't have any place to put the center in the end of this part. I'll move this over a little bit. You see the center would be right here somewhere and there's just nowhere to put it of course. Now I could have made a plug that was off center but then I'd have to clock it somehow which I guess I could use some of these holes to do that but this was just easier. I just I already had this I made it for a different job so I already had it. seems like that worked pretty good and I only have to run the one tool now to drill that hole I just got to clamp this thing on the part and run the tool after I mill the pocket instead of doing coming in with a um, an end mill to, to create a spot then maybe a spot drill to create a starting point for the drill and then the drill and then uh, the gun drill but that didn't work the first time I ran it because it broke the gun drill as, as it came out the bottom here and started to intersect down here it was there must have been a slight misalignment because a drill got deflected and so um, that took uh, one two three tools minimum and, and maybe more because in order to do it that way I might even have to drill deeper mill a counterbore and drill with a smaller drill and then open it up and drill deeper and then go through with the gun drill the gun drill only has to drill about this much distance after it gets through the bottom of this pocket but 
um, it's getting through this that hole that's lengthwise in here like that 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 is the problem with this so this seems like this worked pretty good I have done this before like I said in the previous video and uh, it's worked for me so I, I was pretty sure it was going to work okay here too 